<laughs> Welcome back to Talk About Cars from Fox Sports 1380, KRKO Smart Talk Saturday. What a big, great crowd we have here today, all gathered around. Listen to those people have all come here to see Molly Helmuth. Yay! Molly Helmuth is here. She drives the Frontier Communications number 90 late model race car. She uh, competes out at Evergreen Speedway and a lot of the tracks here in the Northwest. And uh, actually, Molly, you've raced in other parts of the country, haven't you? Um, I raced in California a couple years ago, um, but not in the late model, but we raced a, um, a Ford Focus Midget down there for a driver devel development team. So that was pretty fun, but nowhere else really. How long have you been racing? You were 18 now, right? Yeah, so I started racing when I was 11 in go-karts and just kind of moved into different divisions um, when I was uh, 14, I finally got into a full-size stock car, it's called a mini stock, um, and then we just kind of moved into trucks and open-wheeled cars, and now the super late model. When did, it, when did you know that you liked doing this, that you wanted to do this? I think, at first it was a hobby, and it was something I like to do. Um, I've always liked driving things with a motor and going fast and stuff. I always had good, um, like ATVs and snowmobiles and stuff like that, so um, when I really decided that I wanted to make this a career for myself, I was probably 2012. Um, when I won 2012 Rookie of the Year for the state of Washington and kind of just was in the whole environment of the whole NASCAR thing back in Charlotte, North Carolina. So I think that's when I really realized that NASCAR was a career that I wanted to build for myself, but I've always just loved speed and cars and all that fun stuff. So. You come from a racing family too, right? Uh, sort of. Not like a lot of other drivers come from. Um, my uncle's been racing for 20 plus years, but um, not incredibly competitive as I am right now and where I hope to be in the future. Um, but a lot of drivers, you know, have their great grandparents or their grandfathers and stuff like that that have been in the sport. So um, as my dad and I were growing up in the sport, we really had to you know, use our different, you know, the people off the track to really, you know, uh, figure out how we were going to drive a car and set it up and stuff like that. So um, it's been hard for us and it's taken a lot longer than we would hoped, but we're here now. Did you um, go to the Speedway when you were a kid? Yeah, when I was around the age of three, I would go and watch my uncle, and that's when I really decided that this is awesome, and hopefully one day I could, you know, do your side of a great Speedway and have all these fans. So, so nowadays, when you watch, do you watch NASCAR on TV? Absolutely. Do you like, um, you like scream, shift, to get in the left lane? Do you do that? Are you like a backseat driver when you're watching? Uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> You're not critiquing the pros at this point, I guess, huh? Not yet. I shouldn't. I, I probably shouldn't right now. <laughs> Molly, as you said, you've been racing for a number of years here, and your career is really building. And I was talking with Brandon, who's our technical director back in the studio. is a big fan of yours and a big fan of uh, NASCAR in general. And um, he came up with actually a pretty good question. What is the most important thing do you think that you have learned over the last three, four years that has helped your career, got you to progress? Uh, I mean, I've learned a lot of different things from different aspects. Um, I mean, when I think about, you know, me as a driver as a whole, it's just, you know, I'm a female in this sport, and a lot of people look at me as a female, a young female, and it's, and it's given me some rough times, but yet I have to, you know, stay strong. I always just think of myself as a girl, but I'm just another driver out there. Um, but, you know, there's just like a ton of different aspects that I've learned from, you know, the marketing and branding myself and um, just learning how to drive a car and drive it fast and, um, you know, be aggressive and stuff like that. But there isn't really one particular thing that I've really learned because um, there's just so many different things. I mean, it's a tough sport. You know, you have to just do it. You're on billboards, you're on radio commercials, when you talk about marketing, you really are, I think, a marketer's dream because you're, you know, a pretty girl, you've got the, you know, you've just got a great personality, a lot of things going on. When you drive down the street, you know, you're 18 years old and you see yourself bigger than life on a billboard, how does that make you feel? 
You know, uh, it, it's pretty cool, but you know, I Frontier has been amazing to me, and I don't take anything that they've given me for granted. Um, you know, they're a family to me, and I respect them so much, and they've given me so much in these past couple of months. So it's really cool to see myself on billboards and hear myself on the radio. But I mean, if I want to make a career out of this someday, then that's what I'm going to have to deal with. So um, a lot of my friends think it's really cool, um, but you know, I just I don't find it weird. I just this is kind of what I have to do to build myself as a race car driver. So let's find out a little bit about. That Molly, that uh, you know, that they normally don't ask you. you know, oh. Like, like, what, why do you look scared? I'm just because I know what you're gonna ask. Me. So, so do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't. Oh, no, I don't. What a shame! What a shame! <laughs> what a shame! What? Uh, what we have to focus on race cars. What kind know? of? Uh, what, what kind? Are you just saying that because your dad and your family's no, here? No. But in reality, you do. He's outside the fence, just waiting. Oh uh, yeah. What I kind of? What kind of music do you like? Do you listen um, to? I'm all over the board. I like hip hop. I like rap, I like country, I like rock and roll. It just depends on the mood. When the sun's out, I'll probably listen to some country, but right now I'd probably listen to maybe some rock and roll, because it's all nasty out. Do you, you don't have, do you have a favorite band that you've gone and seen or you would go see? I've only, I've only been to two concerts. My first one was Britney Spears. Yes. All right. Killer. <laughs> um, my second one was Jake Owen, and that was two years ago, and that was really good. So. Looks like we have another fan here in front of us for you, Molly. Yeah. And she's bounced away. Yeah, she has gonna, a lot of energy. I was going to ask her to ask you a question. Yeah, well, we did have somebody over here earlier with some bunny ears, so, I mean. What, um, Everything goes. What, what's your favorite meal, that to your go-to meal, besides better meat hot dogs? Yeah, um, I'm a big fan of Thai food. Orange chicken, or sweet sour chicken. Two star. Yeah. You're like me. So you can drive 140 miles an hour, but you have to have two star tight. Uh, on a race day, I'd probably go with some pasta salad. That brings me to this point too, Molly. You know, when you prepare for a race, how do you get yourself ready? Mentally, physically, is there a pre-race routine that you have which, which that gets you in the right frame of mind to go out there and drive 130 miles an hour and compete? Yeah, well, throughout the week, I'm working out about three to four times a week with my personal trainer to, you know, build that strength that I need to wheel the car around. Um, you know, when you look at me, I'm only 100 pounds, um, and I don't have the, the muscle and the cardio that a lot of, you know, older guys do, um, so I have to build that during the week. Um, on race, the core? Do you have to work your core? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a lot of core It's all about work. the core. Yeah. You know that? And neck muscles and all that fun stuff. So, um, yeah, and then when I get to race day, it's just kind of me and my zone and I don't really do anything really to prepare. I just kind of keep everything to myself and with my team and we just work together and then um, before I get in the car, I you know do a couple stretches just to kind of liver myself up and be in the car for a little bit. So um, I usually do a couple stretches and kind of just, you know, breathe. Tell me about your car, Molly. It's sitting right here in front of us, and people can come out and see it here today. We've got the hood off currently. Um, these cars are really, they, they call them stock cars because they are modeled after stock cars, but that's really about it. There's nothing really stock about this car. Uh, describe your car to us. Oh, God. How many horsepower? Yes. What size is? How did you go? Well, it's white it, with yeah. red, white, and it's got a 90 on it. What kind yeah, of? Well, we run about like 620 horsepower, so it pumps out about you know a lot of a lot of power. We have a pretty strong engine. Uh, what do you guys want to know about it? I, I mean, I don't. Well, Maury and I want to know. Eight track or cassette? Yeah. What, what kind of sound system is in there? Oh, yeah, obviously. Are you allowed to listen to whatever music yeah. you want to when you're riding around the when track? You, when you're when you're racing, are you uh, wired? Does somebody talking to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a spotter, so listening to them and they're you know telling me who's inside, who's outside of me, and where's the Rex and. Mm -hmm. Molly, how important is your crew, and let's talk about your crew chief. What does the crew chief do, and, and, and how important are those support people? Can you really get out there and be competitive and, and race hard and win in a race if you don't have the right people behind you? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, well, on our team, we don't actually have a crew chief, but, um, you know, we have a ton of volunteers. Um, we have Rich Palmer, Scott Davis, Dave Flickner, um, and then we have Mike and Rod Helmuth who help us um, 
during the week. And, you know, it's just all volunteer work. And without them, we wouldn't be on the track. And let alone, we wouldn't be here today. Um, so with them, you know, it's just incredibly important to have them um, because they put in so much time and effort into the car. And I really, really appreciate that. So a uh, big shout out to my team members because without yeah. them, I, I really wouldn't be where I am today. And I wouldn't be racing next weekend. What's the uh, uh, most laps you go in a race normally? Um, my longest race that I've ever competed in was going to be 300 until my steering wheel came off. And so it's important to have a steering wheel that's on when yeah. you're racing. Okay. Yeah, that's it's good pretty to know. important. Okay. Otherwise, you got a pair of vice grips there trying to touch yeah. the car. So yeah, I don't know about that. That would have been that would have been 300 laps. It would have been 300 laps on a three eighths of a. Mile how long track. How long would that take? A couple hours. It depends on uh, how many wrecks there are as well. So. So when you're racing 300 laps, do they let you stop and run to the bathroom and then run back yeah. and start. Yeah, there's racing? a there's a usually a break in between there somewhere, but you know. But not in NASCAR though, right? What do you mean? Not not in a NASCAR race, yeah. like the Daytona 500. Yeah. Unless it was like last year where there was rain out and right. then you saw I mean, Danica running yeah. Dale Earnhardt body. Jr. doesn't get on the radio and say, yeah. listen, I gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. could you guys stop? Mind stopping so I could go to the bathroom? <laughs> yeah. It so, doesn't work that way. So what's the next step? I mean, the goal is is racing NASCAR, yes. right? Okay. So what's the next step for you? I mean, um, are, there, yeah. are there different levels yeah. of this? Um, so right now I'm currently approved to run k and and ARCA. Um, again, it just depends on the sponsorship that I bring to the table. Um, so hopefully next year we'll, we'll be running in the K&N division. Um, after that, you run certain tracks, and then you are approved to run trucks and nationwide and then sprint cups. So hopefully one day. But again, it's just such an incredibly expensive sport, so you got to bring sponsors along. That's why sponsors like Frontier are really so important and uh, better meet. And I understand you, you, I see Champion on the on the hood over there as well, too. Yeah, we have a lot of great sponsors. We have Security Imaging, Jana Hummus CPA, Lumo Napa Auto Parts, uh, Champion Spark Plugs, Goodman Racing, Frontier Communications and along with Better Meat, that's here today. So okay, say it, say that again with a southern accent, and I'm like, <laughs> gosh, I'm you buying. always. I don't know how to do. I don't know how to do accents. I could do. Well, you have to work on that. Yeah, you got to slow down Next your time. speech right. just a little bit like yeah. this. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah. Talking about the Better Meat hot dog. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. We're out running about as hard as we can run. Do you have a favorite NASCAR driver? multiple. Um, I'm a really big fan of Carl Edwards and Tony Stewart. Um, it's always good to cheer for Dale Earnhardt. Uh, it's a big fan of Trevor Bain. It's kind of cute. <laughs> that has something to do with it too. <laughs> How about other sports? I mean, are you a Seahawk fan? Did you jump on that? Yeah, and I mean, I... You go to Mariner games and... Uh, yeah, shout out to Jay Buhner. Hey, That's Jay. right, yeah. How you doing, Jay? <laughs> That's right. Another Frontier sponsor. There you athlete. go, right? yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, I don't really watch baseball that much. And I, I, this was the first year that I really started watching football, or last year, 2013. For it was a good year. It was a good year. It was year. an awesome year. And, uh, I mean, I still don't really know the rules, but, I mean, hey, That's okay. it's we'll still fun. We'll teach you. Neither, neither do we. Yeah. When is your next race? Next weekend, April 5th. And where? Evergreen Speedway. It's Hopefully the, it doesn't it's, rain. It's the opener, right? Yes. And yes. What, what is the race that you're going to be uh, racing in? Uh, well, it's a 125 lap around the 3.8, so that should be pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Is there a name for it? I should probably know this. I think is it's the Molly Helmet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's yeah, just... Probably, the Molly I don't know race. who's sponsoring it. <laughs> <here. laughs> That's okay. Uh -oh. we'll, we'll take care of this in post-production anyway, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, it's live, actually. Oh, that's right. It is live. It's live. Okay. Everything right. that goes out stays out there. <laughs> Molly, people want to know more about you, want to know about more about your racing career, your car. How can they do that? Yeah, you guys can um, go to my website, www.mollyhelmuth.com. You guys can follow me on Facebook. Uh, again, it's just my name, Molly Helmuth. And you guys can go onto my Twitter, which is at Molly underscore Helmuth number 90. Follow me there. Give me a like. Give me a shout out. Um, hope you guys are enjoying this rainy day. Come down, say hi. We're here until 3 o'clock. So. Exactly. We're here at the Napa Auto Parts store in Linwood. And if I knew the exact address, I tell you, it's what, 212th Street? Yes, it is. It is 212th Street. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. Linwood Auto Parts. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have the guy on, uh, the owner, in a few minutes. Exactly. He'll, 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 he'll tell us more about where the store is. Yeah. So come down, see Molly Helmuth. And uh, you've got some great black uh, hats here. You've got uh, lanyards. You've got could, buttons, all kinds of stuff. We couldn't be more impressed with you. You're, Thank you. Uh, no, you 
really are. You, you are the yeah. race car driver. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably the only race car driver you know of. Pretty much. But that, 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 that'd be side the point. But it's okay. No, I, I know a lot of race car drivers. You would be my favorite. Well, yeah. thank you. So, way, you guys are my favorite. Way, Wait, I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> that's okay. Because I know can. other radio people that Doesn't I'm matter. Right. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> much better than Dad. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Thanks for coming out to my event today. Thank you. Thanks for having us. <laughs> that's Molly Helmuth, and you can come by and see her here at the Nat Water Park store. Big hand.